Dragon PA back with another video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on the way in. I'd really appreciate it. It shows that you support me and the content on this channel. So the Passport Bros movement has gotten a lot of traction as of late on YouTube. It's all over the place. It's even made a couple of local news segments in certain markets of the United States. If you're not familiar with the Passport Bros phenomenon, it's upper middle class to upper class black men who are tired of the dating situation in the United States. They want fit, feminine, friendly, submissive women to marry and have kids with. So they're getting their passports and they're trying to find women overseas. And I don't have a particular opinion on it. I'm one of those people, if you put yourself in a position to be able to take that route, because not a lot of people can, and this goes for men and women. So if you have the means and you kept yourself in a position to be able to go overseas, I say go for it. Guys, if you're tired of the dating situation, if American women are driving you crazy, get your passports. Ladies, equal opportunity. If you're tired of the men in the United States and you, and you want to go and, and try and find someone overseas because you're tired of American men, hey, why not? Go for it. I just think the the dynamic is different because, you know, hypergamy and all that stuff. So anyway, proponents of the movement like Austin Holler and Dennis Sperling, you know, they're all for They're pushing it because they, they point out all of the shortcomings of American women. And then opponents are trying to call these guys monsters and saying that they're taking advantage of third world women and their economic situation or trying to say that these men are ignorant and don't know what they're doing. And there's so many different aspects to this. They always act like men are the only ones going overseas and doing the bad parts of, of tourism. I found this clip about British older women going to Gambia to sleep with young African men so bad that Gambia had to issue a warning to the British government and to the government of Europe telling them that they have to do something about these older European women coming down to, to Gambia to live out their little chocolate fantasies. So we're going to get into this. But put in the comment section, if you've heard about Passport Bros, if you've heard about Passport Ladies, um, and what you think about it, especially if you have a strong opinion. Are you strongly for it, strongly against it? Have you done it? Make sure to let me know. So let's get into this clip. Here is your African news update. Gambia. The Gambia has warned all British women to stop traveling to the country to pay young Gambian men for sex and love. Gamb and they said to pay, not to date. So they're these British women are literally going down there with a bag full of money and just having a great time. Gambia is finally clamping down on British grannies flocking to the country, searching for toy boys, and is desperate for quality tourists to visit the country. The tiny West African nation has been a haven for older women seeking a lover or partner for many years. So it's become a haven. So I guess everyone in Britain and certain parts in Europe, you know, at, at the little cocktail wine parties, Gambia is what they're talking about. But the country is now sick of its reputation as a sex hotspot for mature women from Britain and Europe. Abubakar Kamara, director of the Gambia Tourism Board, has said that the country wants tourists that come to enjoy the country and the culture, but not tourists that come just for sex. Sex tourism in the nation has been booming since the 1990s. When So this has been an issue since the 1990s, but this is the first I've heard about it. What about you guys? Have you heard about this, this type of thing going on with, with older women going to the African continent? I haven't. Budget package tours to the former British colony became popular. Two years ago, there was a documentary titled Sex on the Beach, which shocked viewers when reporter Seyi Rhodes found bars packed full of elderly women in search of younger, younger Gambian men. One pensioner told Seyi that the country was paradise because you can have a different man every night. They said that you can have a different man every single night. And once again, they're paying for it. So these women are paying for sex with different men every single night. The country was once described as a real life Tinder dream for geriatrics, but now the government is considering introducing laws that give police powers to arrest local beach boys and older women engaged in suspect relationships. I wonder how that would 
how that would pan out. Would you would they stop and frisk couples? Would they would they interrogate him? So if you see an older woman holding hands with a younger guy, would they have police patrolling the streets? How would that even work? The so-called Sen Senegambia Strip near the capital city Banjul has become an a Benny dorm type hotspot for lonely B British pensioners as tourists account for 20% of the country's GDP. The government is said to be backing the move to clean up its tourist trade by considering laws to crack down on such acts with a government official calling on the UK government to stop British grannies exploiting young Gambian men. So, British grannies exploiting young Gambian men. And can you blame these guys? Imagine how much money they're making. You know, this is a mess of situation all the way around. And the worst part about it is, this is just now getting attention. Everyone knows about men going overseas and sees them as predators and stuff, but they never talk about women. We yeah, are, well, we're about equal opportunity over here. We, there are evil men, evil women. There are women that want to have a good time. There are men that want to have a good time. There are, there are good male tourists, bad, bad male tourists, good female tennis, bad ones too, tourists too. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.